welcome to this .NET Nugget session, one in a series of short sessions where we spend 10 minutes or so looking at how we can do things with Visual Studio and the .NET framework. My name is Mike Tolte and I work in the developer and platform group at Microsoft in the UK. And this particular session is one of a series around the Windows Communication Foundation, which is part of the WinFX suites of technologies and it's a distributed application technology. And this session what we're going to do is take a brief look and with the Windows Communication Foundation, how we can control the way that data is represented on the wire and do serialization using the data contract, which is the default mechanism for serialization with the WCF. Okay, here we are in Visual Studio 2005, and I'm using the September technology preview of WinFX. And what I've done is built two very simple applications here. One is a, a service and one is a client. They're both console applications. And just like the rest of the demos in this series, essentially they're very simple. We have a service contract here. It's called the address service. And what we've said is that there's two operations on this. One, put the address for a person and it takes a, a name and an address, the address type, and get a person's address which takes the person's name and returns an address. And address we've defined up here, we're using data contract and we're saying that an address has a house name which is a data member and the address line 1 which is a data member. Then we've gone ahead and implemented our service. Uh, we've got put person address not really doing anything and get person address just returns some kind of vanilla address um, every time we call it. And finally we're using the service host in, in the boilerplate manner by now just to create instances of our service and make them available and of course we've configured that just to use an HTTP URL and a basic binding. For the client we've gone and added a web reference to the service and then all we're doing in the client is creating an instance of the proxy. We create one of these addresses, set the house name and the address line and we call put person address. Having done that we then call get person address and we write out what we get back to the console. So the first thing that we can control within the data contract is we can take controls of, of names and namespaces. So we can wander up to this attribute and we can specify what name we'd like. So for instance let's call this my address and let's set the namespace to be urn my address dash com and we can change the names of these members as well. Let's change this to be, um, let's call it house number rather than house name. It's not strictly accurate. And let's call it 